Hello everyone and thank you for joining me for Hip Kit Monday. I'm really, really excited to be sharing this fun and colorful layout using our May kit from this month. So we're going to go ahead and get started. So the first thing I did was of course print out my photo and I added a little word that says happy on it. And I knew that I really wanted to use watercolors and all the fun pinks and oranges and yellows that are in the Basic Gray Highline collection, um, which I have just been really, really inspired by. So what I'm doing here is I'm taking the Basic Gray um, journaling book that we got in this month's kit and I'm starting to layer. I love the pinks, the oranges with the grays and the blues. And I'm going to add a bit of yellow in here as well, just for a little pop of color. So I'm kind of just um, sizing the papers and figuring out, do I like it in this order? Do I not? So in the end, I end up just actually adding a little bit of yellow, almost using it in the same manner as washi tape by just a little bit on the ends there. And I'm going to go ahead and adhere this down. And I always staple everything first just so it has a nice strong hold. And since I'm not using my sewing machine, um, that's the way I've been doing it for a while. So I'm just adhering down these little pieces that are still sticking up a little bit. And I have my photo in place. I like it there in the center. And I end up matting it on vellum, which just is a small added detail that um, doesn't show up a lot, but it does It does when um, you see it in person. And so here I'm gonna play with watercolors, again, inspired from the Highline Collection from Basic Gray. And I'm gonna be mixing a variety of pinks, oranges, and a little bit of yellow as well, and white to kind of tone down certain areas. So I'm just using a fan brush. Really, you can use any brush. I just happen to like um, almost the little lines that this fan brush creates when using it, which is why I kind of decided to use that brush. But generally, I just use my regular old watercolor brush, which you can see at the top right there, that yellow pin or yellow paint brush. And I'm going to add in a little bit of white to kind of tone down certain areas. And it also helps to blend the colors better. And now I'm just taking my fan brush, which is also a great brush to use for splattering, a splattering technique. So I'm just adding watercolor and then I'm adding more water into the top of the palette and then splattering it around the page. And I'm going to take a couple of my sprays that I have um, in my stash and splatter those around as well. And I'm going to dry this real quick so I can continue working without smudging anything. And of course, I never know when to stop. I'm always adding. I love layers. The more layers, the better. So again, I'm taking this white and I'm just splattering it. And I'm going to go ahead and dry that again which the white one takes a little bit longer to dry than just the regular sprays. So now is here is where I'm actually using my watercolor brush and my finger. And again, I never know when to stop. I just love this watercolor effect that um, I've been creating and I'm just having a lot of fun with it. And I'm basically going to continue it around the layered papers and right now I'm using a Heidi Swap um, peach color and I'm kind of just using my finger and kind of just tying all this watercolor together to kind of make it seem like all of it has been watercolored and not just the the edges and then I'm kind of just taking and making little dots with the end of the sprayer there and so in the end, I don't end up using these stickers on this particular project. But it would have been, said happy girl. But like I said, those didn't quite make it on the project. So next, I'm going to grab some of these pink paisley chipboard elements. And I'm going to start 
playing around with them. Some will make it on the page and some won't, such as this one. That's okay. I'll save it for another project. Because I really didn't want to cover up the layers of paper that I had. And of course, I also didn't want to cover up all that beautiful watercolor that I just incorporated. So I've actually taken all the Highline Basic Gray elements and put them in this bowl. They pop out of their shell really, really easy. I was very impressed how um, well die cutted and the adhesive on these are also equally awesome. So I was really, really impressed with the quality of the chipboard elements from Basic Gray. And so I'm just kind of placing these, scattering them around the page, kind of again tying in those watercolors to the background that I have created. And peeling off the adhesive backing and making it a permanent decision and placing them and then I actually really like what I ended up doing with these little plastic studio calico studio calico pendant um, type clip things I kind of made an extended arrow and I just thought it was kind of fun and interesting a different type of arrow I guess and again I love these chic tags acetate pieces um, because I don't want to color cover up the watercolor effect but I still love that you can see the layer behind it and enamel dots always make it on my project and I love the bright green I love these little bits and pieces of pops of the yellow the green and a little bit of blue as well and then this is just kind of a little scrap I had from the journaling book from Highline from doing the layers behind the photo and of course I didn't want it to go to waste so these little black pieces end up making it on the top and bottom of the layout and then I'm adding these little sentiments that says these are the best moments also from the journaling book from basic gray and then I'm looking for one for the bottom as well and this is going to end up saying you are so unique which you see here and I was gonna try and make it say girly but the Y was just a little bit too big for my liking so I decided to break out these fabulous letters which oh my gosh they're amazing there's so many colors and uppercase lowercase there's just a bajillion things you can do with this one page of letters but the letters are a little bit tiny, so it did take me a moment to get them off and uh, put them in place. But it ends up saying, you are so unique. And the reason I chose black is to tie in my dark hair with um, the words and kind of, again place the fo the main focus back on the uh, photo which is always the most important part in my opinion and of course I'm definitely gonna add some journaling and I always like to make the lines because it just comes out straight and I'm always nervous I'm gonna journal crooked so thank you guys for joining me for this month's layout and I hope it inspires you to create a layout of your own using our hip kit for May. Thank you and I will talk to you guys later.